The biggest thing that causes stress for a lot of students is the fear that, uh, man, like what if I apply and it doesn't work out? What if I, you know, put in all this effort and um, the schools that I apply to say no? Hey, what is up? How you doing? My name is Joseph Gugi. I am a physical therapist, also one of the co-founders of Pre-PT Grind, where we help students like yourself get into physical therapy school. And in this training, I want to talk about how to get the right PT program for you to say yes. That is the thing that most students want. So if you're a pre-PT, if uh, you're uh, a reapplicant, if you're applying for the first time, if you're applying one or more years from now, uh, you're in the right place. You're in the right place. And if you enjoy this training, then please be sure to binge on all of the other trainings that we have on this platform and be sure to like, subscribe, and share this out to your friends that you believe would also value this. But um, this is important because this is like the thing we all want. Like we all want a school to say yes. And all all it takes is one, <laughs> like all it takes is one school to say yes. And we are on our way to, you know, obviously finishing PT school and then of course becoming physical therapists, right? But um, the, the biggest thing that causes stress for a lot of students is the fear that, uh, man, like what if I apply and it doesn't work out? What if I, you know, put in all this effort and um, the schools that I apply to say no, which does happen. Like we had a student, um, we, we've had students that have come and worked with us after being rejected from all the schools they've applied to or after being rejected for multiple years. And so um, there's one concept that I'm about to share with you here in the next few moments that uh, will just shift how you look at this whole application process thing. Um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure no one's ever talked to you about it like this. Um, and this is a topic that we recently did live on Instagram and we had such a good uh, you know, response from the students that heard it that I was like, you know what, let's, let's create this for YouTube so that you can enjoy it as well, uh, but so that you can also come back to this when you forget this topic. So um, how do I get the right PT program to say yes to me? So here's the answer. The answer is you have to anticipate the school's fears. That's it. <laughs> now, obviously, are there other layers to that? Of course there are, right? But at the end of the day, the people that decide whether or not you'll be in their program are human beings, right? And so they have certain fears. They have fears that um, you might get into their program and not make it through. They have fears that you might make it through their program but not pass your board exam. There, there's so many layers. And uh, like, for example, recently, um, as I record this last week, I was uh, back at the school that myself and Casey went to physical therapy school at, right? And so um, we spent about two hours there, uh, my wife, my son and I, uh, hung out with the chair of the department. And so I shared with her that we have this, like like literally, I think it was right after we had done this conversation live on Instagram. And I was like, hey, like, like this is how we talk about it. Like, that's like, how, how do you see it as the chair of the department? And she was like, that's exactly what it is. Like when we look at applicants, we're basically trying to weigh like, are they gonna make it through? Because it matters y'all, like for the schools that you apply to, like you have to realize that for them, they want every student that comes into their program to make it through. Like, like it looks bad if they accept a class and half that class fails out. It looks bad if they accept the class and half that class does not pass the board exam, right? Like it looks terrible. It makes them look like a bad program. And if that happens enough times, it's only a matter of time before that program is gone. So it matters to them. They want to make sure that the students that they let into their program will actually make it. So they have fears naturally. And so that's why a PT program will basically have standards like, hey, here's the GPA that we want. Here is the GRE score that we want. Here are the other requirements that we need. And this is where a lot of students get, get stressed out because they're like, well, I'm like, my GPA is not higher than other students. Well, that's fine. But you have to ask yourself, what are the fears the school has and how can I counter those fears? So if a school is nervous that I might not be able to make it academically, how can I show them that the version of myself now is actually ready to handle the academic intensity of PT school? How do I do that? Well, I can actually retake classes. If I retake classes and I show that now I can get an A in chemistry or physics as opposed to a D the first time I took it, well, naturally now it's... Now I'm building a case for myself that, that shows the school that if they take a chance on me, I won't let them down. Does that make sense? And so, so, so when it comes to applying to PT school, are there other levels? Of course there are, but, but, but I think at the heart of it, this is the concept that most 
students miss. And this is where students are like, I don't wanna have to retake classes. I don't wanna do this again. I just wanna, I'm like, well, at the end of the day, schools have fears. And if you can understand that, and if you can take time to actually start learning, hey, what, what things would I be scared of if I was the chair of a department? What would I look for in a student if I was the chair of a department? If someone had a rough academic start, what would I want to see like in their growth trajectory, like like what would I want to see in their grades, like th their current grades? What would I want to see in their effort? What would I want to see in their intentionality to become a better academic student or their intentionality to understand the profession better or their intentionality to understand our program better? Like, like what would I want to see? And then ask yourself, are you doing those things? Because at the end of the day, if you want a program to say yes to you, that's how it works. Literally, that is how students that we have coached who have had very, very low GPAs when they started working with us, that's how they got into physical therapy school. Like it started with that. Like they did not make any excuses. They did not try to cut corners. They asked themselves, what are the fears the school has? Like when schools see my academic history, what are their initial fears and what are their initial thoughts? And what are things that I can do to basically reverse those fears, to actually build confidence in the school so that when they see my application, when they bring me in for an interview, they're a lot more likely to take a chance on me because they know that I fit their culture. They know that I will actually, you know, work hard and I'll figure out how to make it academically. They know that I am resourceful. They know that I have learned different strategies to help me improve my standardized exam taking skills. Like all those things build towards your ability to stand out to a school. And that's how it works. So if you are a pre-PT, ask yourself, am I anticipating the school's fears? Literally like for students that we, that we coach, we always tell them when you apply to PT school, you should have already anticipated what the school will see. You should have already anticipated what the school will think because you've done enough research to understand them, to understand what they value, to understand what their fears are so that when you present your application, you're like, hey, I've done the right things. I've communicated like certain things. I've retaken classes. I've done all the things that I can control, but I've presented it in a way that increases their confidence and, and them, I mean, by their confidence, I'm referring to the school, increases their confidence in me to be able to not only get into this program, but also finish it and successfully pass my board exam uh, because that reflects positively on them as well. So uh, that's how it works. Uh, let me know if that makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'd be more than happy to answer them. Uh, but that's it. Like if you can change your perspective as a pre-PT and look at it that way, ask yourself, what possible fears might the school have about my journey, about my capability to finish their program? And how can I reverse those fears? How can I increase their confidence? If you do that, you will be one massive step closer to your dream of becoming a physical therapist. And if you want to continue th this process of saying, hey, like what other things can I do to stand out? Then go to rejectionproofprept.com where in under 10 minutes, we actually break down to you the number one mistake that leads students to get rejected every single year. And if you can avoid that one mistake and take what I just taught you, then man, like you automatically put yourself in the top 10% of applicants every single cycle. So go to rejectionproofprept.com. Literally go watch that video. It's so, like, it's probably one of the best trainings we've done in less than 10 minutes, like straight up. And so it'll also show you the blueprint that we have used to help hundreds of students that we have privately coached get into physical therapy school. And what will happen is at the end of it, you will actually get the opportunity to, if you're like, hey, I really want to take this up a notch, you'll get the opportunity to schedule a free strategy call with one of us so we can help you figure out where you're at, how to navigate through um, all the challenges and obstacles that you're going through so that you can get closer to your dream of becoming a physical therapist. So I hope that was valuable. Uh, that's it. That's it. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to like, subscribe, share this out with your friends, uh, and we'll see you on the next trade. Bye.